Hi, my name's Jeremy Brune. In this video, I'm going to answer the question that many of you will ask, which is how long will a cordless router last? Runtime is the name given to this, and of course, there are a lot of variables. Well, I'm going to surprise you by saying that if you understand and apply the first principles of routing, you can get considerably more runtime than I have noticed in videos testing runtime that use the router like a tractor to plough a field. I'm going to surprise you further by demonstrating that with my novel fast plunge routing technique, you can remove double the stock and double the battery life in my simple test. I'm also going to surprise you about cheap aftermarket batteries, so please watch the entire video and do the usual at the end. Okay, so I'm using this gorgeous little 18 volt Makita brushless router set up with a 10 millimeter wide straight cutter, and I'm using a piece of hardwood. My test is very simple. I'm going to put the router under continuous load for periods of three minutes at a time. Now three minutes is about the maximum before eye strain, wrist ache and backache sets in. Well, certainly at my age. And is actually on the outer margin of most routing tasks that are done without a break. I'm using this plunging router freehand, having set the cutter to a depth of 20 millimeter. And I'm going to see how much stock I can remove before the battery dies. Now the first principle of routing is less resistance to material, more control. And the general rule with a straight cutter is to set the depth no greater than half the width of the cutter. So I'm deliberately breaking that rule and routing to full depth. All you need is to listen to the router. The revs should not drastically drop. So clearly what I'm doing in this test is putting the router and the battery under load but I would make lighter cuts if I were routing normally. OK, so I've used a cheap aftermarket 5 amp hour battery for my first test and you can see it has consumed a third of the power in just three minutes. Well, that's if the battery level indicator is accurate. So let's put the router under load for another three minutes. Incidentally, with the new battery, I did a couple of charge cycles first before doing the test. OK, after six minutes of routing, the battery indicator still shows it has consumed one third the power. Hmm, let's continue on. Obviously, I'm speeding the video up to hold the attention of my viewer. Oh, that's a shock. The battery suddenly died and at only about seven minutes of routing. And this is how much stock I've removed. Well, don't lose heart because I'm not finished yet. This battery maybe. The second of my three tests is setting up my router with a genuine Makita battery and 4 amp hours seems a good choice as it also charges fairly quickly. I'm doing the same test on a new piece of hardwood. Routing in 3 minute sessions. That's long enough for anybody to concentrate using this precision tool. 3 minutes up and a quarter of the battery power used. If you really want to maximise the runtime of your cordless router, please don't just watch this video once, but twice, to fully digest everything I'm sharing with you. Because runtime isn't just about the length of windowsill a site carpenter can route, unless you just want the router to be a trimmer. The router promises so much more. OK, so... At six minutes, half the battery is drained, according to the level indicator. Don't forget this is an extreme test for load. So at nine minutes, it indicates a flashing one bar and the router's dead. Of course, at six minutes, it could have been about to change from half to quarter power. 
so these battery indicators are at best a guide. You can see the Makita 4 amp hour battery has removed significantly more stock than the 5 amp hour battery. Oh yes, I forgot to say, I weighed the batteries before the test. Surprise, surprise. OK, for the final test I'm going to demonstrate my fast plunge method of removing stock. I used a larger piece of wood, anticipating I would be removing far more stock with a longer battery runtime. I've used the same method of initially skating the cutter around to achieve maximum depth by creating an escape for the chippings. If you plunge straight down, the cutter will burn the wood and reduce cutter life. Then I do a series of vertical chops using the edge of the cutter. Now you can hear the revs are hardly dropping as the action is both battery and muscle power. You soon learn to make rhythmic light cuts. The cutter is actually breaking up the wood and exploiting the weakness of short grain. It's highly efficient. Well at three minutes it's still showing full battery charge. It could be about to indicate a lower charge. Oh, at six minutes it's still showing full charge. Really? The results would be different in a soft wood. I've used ash, which is a tough wood. Some woods dull the TC cutter quicker than others. Of course another variable is the diameter of the cutter affecting the torque. This video is demonstrating the principles of routing and I'm specifically using an established router and power tool brand. At nine minutes a quarter of the battery power has been used. You can see I'm already removing more stock in the time. At 12 minutes, it's still showing three quarters battery power left. Well, this is impressive. At 15 minutes, just half the battery power has been used. Well, I pioneered this method back in 1989. I'm not aware of any damage to the router bearings or weakening of the plunge springs. Now I've run out of wood and I've just used half the battery power and removed significantly more stock with the straight cutter using this novel fast plunge method. I hope I've demonstrated how the way you use a router greatly affects the stamina or runtime of the battery. Please take a look at my website and the various routing videos available as well as the hardback updated edition of my pioneer book on routing which includes other unique techniques that I have devised. Please use the comments if you have a question about this video or routing in general. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.